every day. Specifically, we want to spotlight eight students in the space. So um, our first award is for excellence and engagement. We would like to honor two students. One is consistent curiosity to Steven Sosa. Okay, the second is consistent engagement, Makai Michelle. in leadership. And I will say that the senior class is a class full of leadership um, and leaders. And so we wanted to shout out two students in particular for leading by example. So the first is for Olivia Martin. So her qualities of a positive attitude, encouragement, and critical thinking in all of her classes. And the second is Helen Wallet for outstanding... to really give positive and encouraging feedback to many of her classmates. I think that she was really able to help transform a lot of their personal statements, and we're really excited to see all of these students' um, college applications and where they go. Um, so part of Senior Summer is also a great books and a philosophy class, so I want to invite Professor Schiff up to the stage right now. I want to uh, just address one set of comments to the parents who are here. <clears throat> I hope you say hello to me afterwards. And I told you classes. I teach a little mini college course this summer, and I teach it on a college level. And the reason is I want to be able to show each and every one of these students that they're ready to go to college, they've been thinking, they've been doing their work, and they're ready for the great step of going to college. And I certainly know that they'll be nervous, and I'm certain, but please remember that we're here to help you even after you go into college with a success program. And to, I want to say that to the parents as well. I'm very, very pleased with the work that the students did in class. 
their class participation, their comments, their essays, they're very, very high level, and I can assure you that your kids are really ready to go to college and leave by the end of high school, of course, and then they're all ready to go, and that's the biggest reward uh, any of us teachers can ever have. Excellent. I forgot to click through to that welcome. We did that. Look at this. We're progressing. Senior summer. Uh, great books. Look at this. We're flying. Next up, I would like to invite Ms. Marte to uh, talk about our juniors and juniors. Thank you. that they made. I'm going to hand it off to Miss Allison Lopez to start with our first award. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, so I'm going to be presenting the most consistent student award for both our section one and section two. These two students were selected for their tenacity, for their intelligence, always getting the top scores in homework, constantly asking questions in class, and for helping other classmates out when they have questions. So for section one, we have chosen Leva Marie. <laughs> and for section two, our dear Dominic Pina. off to our veteran Mr. Parisi, our math instructor. We also have two awards for the math portion of the junior experience to two students who worked consistently hard, helped their classmates out, and were always showing a you know hunger to learn and learn more uh, this entire summer. The first student is Joseph Nola.
second award is for Darusha Jivananda. Let's give a big round of applause to our juniors. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. On the other end of the spectrum, one of the most fun summers in NGOB is the summer going into your sophomore year, our week on the job program. So let's give it up for Ms. Miller. Our sophomore class had nine new students this year. 
here who seamlessly fit in and became leaders in the community. I'll miss seeing all of you every single day, and I, it's hard to describe how proud we are of your hard work and how impressed we were with your performance at the different folks sites. We want to quickly recognize five students who are above and beyond. Um, so the first award is the Three Cheers Award, and this goes to a student who brought great energy to your internship and for being a wonderful team leader. This award goes to Liana Pidham. Our second award is the Integrity Award, which goes to a student who is a great team player and consistently did great work throughout their internships, regardless of the circumstances. This award goes to Angel. A lot of our students are still at their internships, so we're not just sitting here. <laughs> the third award is the Question Wizard Award, which goes to a student who asks great questions and overall excellent participation. And this award goes to Christina. Samuel De Silva. So 
those were our cross-examiners for our prosecution team. And I, this time, I would also like to invite the rest of the prosecution team up on the stage. So that's Josh McBenavides, Esther Nita, Adedulapo Ajamari, Stephanie Perez, instructors uh, felt like maybe was not 100% um, interested in the Summer Law Institute on day one, but he got really into it um, and by the end was one of our most enthusiastic students and we really saw the growth um, academically, intellectually, and as a leader in the class. And for that student, that is Joel to Curry. a big shout out while they're taking a picture to our ninth graders. Uh, this is the first class of students ever who have done the SLI who started in the front row up here as our sixth graders. So a huge shout out to all of our middle school uh, ninth graders. Um, and if anyone's looking for receipts, Miss uh, Wright has all of the pictures of them from when they were sixth graders. There's a lot of gold out there. Okay. Um, so finally, we have our awards for our middle school program, and for that we're going to invite up Miss Wright. Let's give her a big round of applause.
ready? So, as the middle school program manager, I have the privilege of getting to interact with the, aside from Mr. Sejas, I think I interact with the most students on a regular basis. Uh, and this summer in middle school, this is our first summer as a full middle school program. The only time, because of COVID, the only time we ever were all together in person, it was 2019. Those students are now ninth graders. Uh, and so this was a really fantastic summer. Thank you to the instructors and to the students for making this idea of the middle school program really come to life. Um, in middle school, we worked on our math skills, art, language, art skills. Seventh graders read a couple books. Eighth graders read a play. Sixth grade read a lot of short stories and poems. Um, in our project-based learning, sixth graders crushed it on their pitch day, trying to persuade companies of their choosing to set up a headquarters here in North. Seventh graders uh, showed us how they are going to change the game. What it, they shared what, they, what is important to us, what social justice issues matter to them, and propose solutions for us. We have future policy makers among us. Our eighth graders explored their passions and figured out how they can take their passions and the things that they care about in this world and make a difference. And that's something that I hope you carry with you no matter where you go and what you do. You are all incredible leaders. So for middle school, the way we're going to do this, we're not going by grade level. We're going by award. There are four awards that get handed out in the middle school program. The first up, and I'll go, to, I'll go this, I will go in order of grade level. Uh, the first up is most engaged. This award goes to students in each grade who participate consistently, ask questions when they need clarification, and have otherwise displayed good communication skills in their learning journey this summer. For sixth grade, our first most engaged winner, so sixth grade, because sixth grade is small but mighty. Uh, there's, only, there's about 15 students in the sixth grade this summer. Um, we, so for sixth grade awards, it is one per, sixth grade, one student per award, seventh eighth grade, only two. Sixth grade, our uh, the first selection for most engaged uh, is a student who can consistently contributes meaningfully to class discussions. His work ethic is outstanding and is always willing to try when it comes to answering questions in class. He is effective at speaking his mind but maintaining respect for peers and uh, teachers. His hand is always raised. And yesterday for pitch day, he did the whole thing by himself. Engage in 7th 
seventh grade is Bella Scatini. to 
eighth grade. So the eighth grade instructors look for students who were like really thinking and actively seeking to improve their performance and to grow as students and hone their craft as, as academics. Uh, this student is, he's a man of few words. Uh, he's thoughtful and always puts a personal touch on his answers. His participation has increased tremendously since day one. And so the eighth grade team really wanted to shout out Rancy Alcabarez. Participating in the way that they felt the most comfortable. 
Uh, this student is extremely polite, always volunteers to share and read in class, is an excellent example of classroom expectations, uh, and is somebody who I think is really gonna go far. Uh, and so our first selection in eighth grade for Humble Leader is Mima Ganiu. based learning um, and allowed actually allowed the instructors to show the class their project and to use that as an example um, and this student is somebody who I've seen tremendous growth from from the time they were in sixth grade until now um, and I can't wait to see how much further they grow uh, and so our next selection for humble leader in eighth grade is Frida Lopez <laughs> Summer programming is officially over. Give me some big round of applause. Except that Miss Wright still has one more round of awards. Since back in the day when we were all 